This was all that was left of Dobby <laughs> on Sokoto Peak. This was all that was left. They, all they found was this little piece of bacon. Okay, on a serious note, we're here today, of course, to talk about, we're going to continue our series and talking about where I think character arcs are going to end in My Hero Academia. And we're going to talk about the end of Dobby's story in My Hero Academia. Now, I wasn't planning on doing this video uh, so soon. Actually, this is a little further down in my list of videos to do. But because of recent things going on in the manga, right, recent events, it's looking more and more likely that we really have to speed up and make this video as quick as possible because it really might just be the end of Dobby's story in My Hero Academia, actually, right? This video series, if you don't know, uh, we're talking about where I think character stories are going to go as we round out this final arc of My Hero Academia, right? But it seems like Dobby, Dobby is kind of like rushing to his own end himself, right? So let's talk a little bit about that. We're not going to go over, you know, the entire history of Dobby. I have a video kind of covering that already. But let's just go over stuff that's been going on very, very recently and where I think that's going to go moving forward if it can go anywhere, right? So getting started right away, we know that, of course, Dobby is participating in this war arc. Or do, what, what is the rule? Do we just call him Toya now? You know what I mean? Like, do we just do that? Or are we still like calling him Dobby? I think my brain just wants to refer to him as Dobby because that's what we've been doing for so long, right? So why not? Why change it here at the end? We know it's Toya. We, we've known this whole time. So we can just say Dobby, I guess. But Dobby is obviously participating in this war arc. He is fighting against Shoto and, you know, Shoto's kind of group of heroes and compatriots who are, you know, also most of them I feel like we've seen working with Endeavor, right? Like a lot of the people here, I think, are from Endeavor's agency, which would make sense since Endeavor has an agency pretty much entirely of fire users. A lot of people believe, myself included, that Endeavor was specifically, you know, ha keeping hope that maybe Toya was out there alive and that if he started an agency where it was all fire users, maybe somehow one day they would run into him or find out something or maybe he could figure out, you know, you see another quirk do something, maybe something will snap in your head and you'll be like, ah, this is what happened to him or maybe this is how he could have survived or anything like that. It's really, really sad. Yeah, especially if it's not on purpose that Endeavor did that, right? If, especially if it's just like a like a subconscious thing that he did, that'd be really awesome. But anyway, obviously Dobby and Endeavor are separated right now. And for a lot of the series, I've been thinking that Endeavor's final fight was going to be in the household, you know what I mean, fighting against Dobby, and they're going to go out together. I mentioned that in my Endeavor video. But now, it's looking like there. it's possible. I don't, I don't really know if this should be the case even, but it's looking like it's possible that Dobby might never make it to Endeavor, right? Because if you've been reading My Hero Academia, the, the most recent chapters, you know that Dobby is pretty much like cremating himself, like live, you know what I mean? Like he is literally breaking down. His jaw is falling off, pieces are falling off him, all his skin is completely scarred. Like, you know, the scars that we've seen on his body, they've spread now to the point where it's just like everything everything is scarred he looks like a walking corpse right now at this point if that's the case if Dobby's just gonna burn himself out until he's done and he's gone then how is he ever gonna fight Endeavor right and what's really really weird about Dobby's situation right now is that like he has he's fighting Shoto right fighting Shoto right but Dobby is like shooting flames everywhere he melted part of the Endeavor statue he's like letting his flames go kind of crazy but like he has already sustained all this damage. His whole face is burned up. He looks like Shigaraki when Shigaraki got burned up by Endeavor, right? Almost. Like, he's getting there. His hair is not affected yet, right? But, like, his face, his skin, everything is, like, burned. And he hasn't really started fighting Shoto yet. You know what I mean? Like, I would expect this battle damage mid-fight with Shoto, near the end of the fight with Shoto. But Dobby is going into the fight with Shoto pretty much burned and destroyed already like body parts are literally falling off because we know that you know obviously in the flashback that we learned uh in chapter 350 i believe that's a chapter right in, in the flashback that we saw in chapter 350 we see that dobby's body parts are from other people right he's pretty much like not a no move because he didn't go through any of the like here's a quirk and you know all those processes but i mean i guess you could theorize that maybe he did right wow that's an interesting idea i i Literally, it has not registered to me that it's technically possible that All for One gave Dobby a quirk when he saved him on Sokoto Peak. Nah, right? Nah, that's definitely not what happened, right? Because the doctor is confused at how Dobby survived. He's just like, hey, man, there's something weird 
about how this guy survived. And that's what's giving us hope that there might be a future for Dobby's arc, right, in My Hero Academia. That it's not going to be, this is the end of his story in My Hero Academia, but, like, we can talk about what his story would be. Because it seems like Dobby has some sort of, like, ability to not die to his own flames. That's kind of, like, the interpretation that a lot of the fandom is taking right now, that... Somehow, Dobby has, like, a flame rebirth or, like, a Phoenix thing going on. Like, I, I have a very long, intensive video about the Dobby Phoenix theory. That seems to be kind of the main mood of the, uh, of the fandom right now, that everyone seems to think that Dobby is going to burn himself out while he's fighting Shoto, survive somehow, maybe even beat Shoto, and then find Endeavor, right, in his newly restored form or in his more powerful form. And that honestly would be very interesting, but, like... Something's not adding up here, right? Because if you look at Dobby, if you look at, uh, I guess, Toya, I should say, when he was burning on Sokoto Peak, right? You see the smoldering body that All for One finds in this chapter that is barely clinging to life, right? And that's Toya. But, like, even if All for One gave Toya, let's say he was just like, here, I'm going to give you the doctor's healing quirk, right? To heal you. That wouldn't heal all those burns and all those scars. Like Dobby's face, everything was burned. He looked, he did look like Shigaraki when Shigaraki was burned by Endeavor. So how is it that three years later or years later, Dobby wakes up and like, you know, parts of his face are obviously replaced, right? But the parts of his face that aren't, his hair is regrown. How does he have his scalp still? There's a weirdness going on. You know what I mean? There, there is definitely a weirdness going on with Dobby that is inexplainable. And in this video, we're trying to figure out what that's gonna be, right, obviously. So do you think it's gonna be some sort of like Phoenix rebirth technique? And if you do, how do you stop Dobby? How do you stop Dobby if you can't burn him? You know what I mean? Because this whole this whole situation with the Todoroki family and Dobby has really turned in the Fire Force too, because they're fighting fire with fire. You know what I mean? To beat Dobby, you're gonna, like, to really stop him, because I don't think there's gonna be any reasonable, hey, come back to the family situation, to really stop Dobby, who's uncontrollable, even to all for one. You can't use ice or water or anything. He's shown to just completely, de Geten is a very, very strong ice user. I think Geten was, like, Horikoshi's way of showing you ice is not the way to go with Dobby. You can't. This amazing ice user. Like, in ways, Gen's ability is more busted than Shoto's. Not entirely, because Shoto can literally create ice. But in my opinion, any quirk that gives you, like, a telekinetic control over a certain thing, like cold and ice, you know what I mean? Or, like, hawks with his wings. Those quirks are just, like, a tier above to me. Just my personal opinion. That Maybe that's not, like, canon or fact, but, like, you can control cold, ice, and you can literally control ice. It's not just that you're creating ice and, you know, it's just blah, ice. It's like, no, I can make a dragon of ice. I can make a golem of ice and bring it to life and have a fight for me, like, just by gathering moisture. And I, it, that, that's really awesome and broken to me. So you have Dobby almost beating that guy, or at least drawing of that guy. So I don't think Shoto's ice is going to be the way to go here, right? So, like, the ice is going to have to be used on Shoto himself to kind of, like, help him do his flash fire fist and not burn out too quickly. What if burning Dobby just makes it worse? He just comes back. He just restores, like, perfect form cell, like, ha, 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 yes, Goku. What if he does that? And then Endeavor is a fire user, and then everyone that they brought to fight Dobby is a fire user. So if he's impervious to fire and he's impervious to ice and water, what do you do? That's my question. What do you do? <laughs> what is there to be done about Dobby? <laughs> the man that all for one couldn't control himself. That is such a badass title, by the way. That's a really awesome title to have. Where could his story go? Because if Dobby does actually, you know, end up fight, does he just win? <laughs> does, Do does Dobby just win? Does he just take down the Todoroki family and do they all just go... No, that's too dark. That's too, like, Demon Slayer, right? I was gonna say they'd all just go to hell together, but that's not really... That's not really my hero's vibe. Yeah, no. I mean, I've I've been very consistent with saying I think Dobby is the one person that can't be saved. Um, but, like, yeah, he's really proven that, man. Because either he's gonna burn himself to death, or someone else is gonna, it seems like. Or he's gonna burn himself to death and come back and just be a re recurring problem, like... I remember people saying that Dobby could be, like, a very endgame threat, right? And I remember myself tweeting that, like, 
it'd be very interesting to me if Dobby became a threat to, like, the league specifically because, like, he didn't really care about them or anything like that. But, no, later on, we see Dobby, you know, we see with Dobby and Toga and Dobby and, you know, he cares about the league to a certain extent because they're kind of a family that he's found that have actually chosen him, you know what I mean? Uh, and, you know, all for one kind of spits in the face of that as using Dobby as, like, a backup for Shigaraki because it's just like, you know, always playing number two, huh, Toya? That is the situation that we find ourselves in My Hero Academia with Dobby, and I think that if he does have this Phoenix quirk that we all kind of think that he has, he's going to have to be taken out in a different way. I don't think fire is going to be the way to do it, or maybe there's some sort of cooldown where, like, you know what I mean? Like, maybe Dobby's quirk is the kind of quirk that, like, builds power over time, like One For All or Ares quirk, where, like, after a certain period of using his flames or being burned or whatever, that kind of, like, builds up an energy inside him that lets him then use it later and be reborn. And maybe, like... If, you, if he does it, if he is able to do it again after all these years, maybe then he won't be able to do it again, right? If he's taken down by himself the first time, maybe he will have to be taken down by Endeavor or somebody the second time, and maybe he will, you know, stalemate with Endeavor and they'll both die. And that's ultimately what I think is going to be the end of Dobby's story in My Hero Academia. I think that he is going to go out in flames, but it might take one or two tries to really get him to actually stay down, right? Because right now, this guy is kind of like a burning zombie. I love it. I think it's super metal. Dobby's always been this super metal character. And the way he's going out, man, with his teeth just out and looking all sorts of crazy, I'm here for it, honestly. Horikoshi really is showing that he wants to do a horror manga because Dobby's kind of scary right now. So what do you think about the possibility that Dobby is going to be reborn and then have to die again or be, be taken down again? Or do you think that this fight with Shoto actually is his final fight? Let me know in the comment section below. I want to know which character you want me to talk about next. I'm thinking about doing Toga, but, you know, you can maybe change my mind and make me talk about somebody else. And, yeah, this is Pineapple. I'll see you guys later. That was the end of Dobby's story in My Hero Academia. Peace.